introduce our next speaker. I uh, actually had uh, dinner last night with Mark Biaghi. Mark is a solution executive with uh, Bentley Systems. And uh, as I said, the most enjoyable dinner with Mark last night. I asked him uh, if he had uh, uh, a quick statement about what was the best thing he's ever done in his working career. And it was quite, uh, quite enticing, quite, quite interesting actually. He mentioned, that he may in fact uh, tell you more about this in his own presentation, but he mentioned that he had made a purchase recommendation to, uh, uh, to his owner to uh, purchase a company. So uh, Bentley as a company is growing by acquisition. And uh, his recommendation to purchase this company was accepted willingly by the company owner and has actually resulted in a significant strategic shift in the direction and capability of the company. So uh, the person you're about to hear is uh, a man of uh, some considered uh, accomplishment in the industry that he serves. So uh, would you join me in welcoming uh, Mark Biaghi. He's going to talk about enhancing the life cycle of your distributed generation portfolio. Thank you, Mark. I mean power generation as well. 
and that's going to be the first of the presentation this morning. Now, historically, you know, Bentley's origins, like many other software firms in this industry, is from the design world, the computer-aided design world. So we've been known as perhaps you know, the CAD company, and I think that's perhaps a, a slightly old-fashioned way of looking and defining what it is that we do. Instead, I would prefer to describe what we do as being infrastructure information modeling. It's information modeling of all the different data points that are required in uh, infrastructure design, construction, and operations. So we use information modeling to support integrated projects, integrated projects of multidisciplinary engineers, perhaps working in many different geographies, in a distributed enterprises, in large organizations. And they are supporting these integrated projects then are supporting and delivering intelligent infrastructure. Now, I don't want to talk at a product level today, but I just want to introduce three main platforms on which we build this because I think it helps explain what we do. First of all, MicroStation. MicroStation is the platform design and infrastructure engineering application. On which, by on top of MicroStation, we then tailor and develop specific products that meet the needs of particular industries. For example, architecture tools. You may have seen uh, just outside the Marina Bay Sands here, there's a building that looks like an upturned hand. That's just one of the many examples on the Singapore skyline of signature architecture work that has been done using Bentley's MicroStation and building information modeling tools. Also, we develop tools for plant design with open plant. We develop tools for electrical engineering, uh, cable and raceway management, structural engineering. Bentley is the leading structural analysis company in the world today. So lots of different uh, design applications. Next, the second platform I want to mention, we call ProjectWise. And ProjectWise is a suite of collaboration tools that enable multidisciplinary engineers to work together effectively to develop the kinds of complex infrastructure that we all require and that is required in power generation. And these tools enable things like better design review, better coordination, better uh, coordination of distributed teams and so on. And the third platform I want to mention, and the one that uh, Graham was alluding to in his introduction, is AssetWise. AssetWise is a lifecycle information management platform that supports the requirements of the information related to infrastructure assets from the very initial stages of requirements, licensing, permitting, initial contracts, all the way through lifecycle phases, and then supporting operations, things like records management, information management, integration with uh, engineering tools, integration with other enterprise systems like ERP maintenance systems. So it's a configuration management platform for our power infrastructure. And on AssetWise then we configure and tailor AssetWise to the needs of specific industries. For example, in the nuclear industry, we tailor and we configure layers of workflow on top of the information model that support the specific requirements and common workflows of that industry the ways that they have to do things like corrective action, performance improvement, records management, configuration management, and so on. So, again, we can describe what Bentley does in the power industry. We have what we describe as scalable solutions. Uh, and we can describe these across these three vectors, for example, if I can just describe them. You know, the kinds of type and scale of projects that are commonly executed on Bentley's technologies? Well, you know, at the smaller end of the spectrum, I would take this example. And in these examples I'm going to show, I'm, I'm uh, sticking entirely to project examples that have been done in Southeast Asia or in the Asian region, uh, because that's where we are. And these projects come to us from our clients. Uh, this is a geothermal power station in Papua New Guinea. It's around 30 megawatts in size. The particular thing there is that there's some Custom engineering has been required, some rather custom process, custom structures 
in some way there was a custom element to the way that that had to be put together that was appropriate for our plan design tools. And the execution of that project saved a lot of time and energy for that company and a, a better quality product. Going out to scale, this is a 500 megawatt hydropower station, so quite a small hydropower plant. But uh, in this case, hopefully, you can see just a picture speaks a thousand words. You can see the dam, the access roads, you can see the pen stocks, the turbine the building, you can see the control of instrumentation, you can imagine the pipe work. You can imagine the kind of rock excavations and the geotechnical work that has to go into the final selection of the site for these things and then how you're going to go around actually designing and engineering and constructing and then ultimately operating this. It's not only generation, it's also things like large substation. So we have a, an intelligent substation engineering platform which is the wide really, this is one example here, a 500 kVA transformer substation by a design institute. China. And then perhaps at the top end of the complexity, if not the scale, certainly the complexity of nuclear plants, uh, the South Korean consortium KEPCO is pretty much standardized on Bentley's design technology for the APR 1400 plants, which they've built domestically in Shinkoi and various other places in South Korea. And they've now exported to the Middle East, among other places that I'm sure they have uh, good ambitions to do. We're supporting them in that endeavor. Then, just to briefly describe the infrastructure disciplines, I'm sure you can imagine. We've already talked, I think, quite a bit about the plant, and I possibly haven't mentioned piping and control and instrumentation, electrical, all those aspects of how the plants put together. Of course, for our power plant, structural engineering is important. When we're looking at hydro power plants, that's one thing. We're also increasingly involved in, uh, in renewable power generation, things like offshore wind turbines. We have the uh, structural analysis tools that support the jackets, the wind and the wave loading, that complexity can be handled in our software. So we're the leading structural analysis uh, company in the world today. Building, of course, in uh, power generation, it's not such uh, switch signature architecture necessarily as the, the buildings in the skyline of Singapore. But nonetheless, there are certain buildings required, and uh, we have tailored solutions for those requirements. Civil engineering, I mentioned, site preparation, road, any rail linkages, those kinds of things, again, can be modeled. And then finally, geospatial networks, things like transmission and distribution, things like you know, corridors for, uh, for pylons and cabling, and how you're managing vegetation, and simple things like that, that actually get very expensive for owner operators, and we can assist them with how they manage. And then finally, you know, throughout the asset life cycle, we're looking at from the very early planning stages, the contracts, the requirements, the permits, the licenses, managing the information that's required to put in things like uh, environmental impact assessments and all those things that have to be done. And supporting the design phase from the front end engineering design, from the process design. Uh, for example, some uh, Biomass plants uh, have some specific processes. We were talking to someone earlier that had a particular, um, I think it was a sewage plant uh, that they were, they were using that for power generation. So, particular process requirements that we can then engineer, build up through the PIDs, the process flow diagrams, get into then the detailed engineering, the detailed design. Then, supporting the construction phase, getting into construction with um, uh, things like work phase planning, breaking down the the, uh, the design of the systems into how you're actually going to put the plant together. And we support many different uh, players in that space. And finally then into operations and then supporting power plant owners as they operate their facilities and ensuring that their information asset it remains as valuable as their physical assets. Now we can extend this to say things like, you know, whether we're selling to owners or contractors who's using it. And also we have technologies for both greenfield and brownfield, so there's lots of vectors we can, can include here. And again, just to reinforce the aspect that we are very much involved in Asia and Asia power, if I can just highlight a couple of examples. Again, these have been provided to us by our clients. This is a balanced plant project for a nuclear plant in China, in uh, Dalian. And again, that was really a, a plant design uh, project there. We're very much involved in uh, the Chinese uh, hydroelectric power uh, industry with various uh, design institutes. 
I'm showing you a couple of examples of this. Is, again, it's a much larger scale than several uh, gigawatts plant there. This uh, combined heat power plant from uh, South Korea. And in this case, uh, it's a district uh, energy project where also uh, our tools are used for managing the district uh, heating networks and how they support that traveling through the, uh, the complexities of their geography there. So there are specific tools for that. Another uh, large uh, substation engineering project in China. And final example is again a nuclear example. This, this time, this is a nuclear facility. It's a decommissioning project on a nuclear fuel facility. So our tools are involved in the dismantling of what was the optimum way to dismantle it, to cut and pack and store and filter, and also then for the uh, different waste streams, the information management requirements around the the high level and intermediate level uh, radioactive waste that was generated as a result of that. So uh, an entire life cycle information management system. And again, we've got projects throughout the region. We've got offices throughout the region, offices here in Singapore, in Kuala Lumpur, offices in Beijing, offices uh, in Australia, New Zealand, we've got offices uh, throughout India as well. So we're very much present here, and of course we're present around the world. So, that's Bentley. That's our Bentley. But what does this have to do with reliability and maintenance? What's the problem that we solve in the power industry? Well, I think one company that did a good job of defining what the problem is is a company called ARC. They're an advisory group, a group of analysts from the US. And it's their job to come up and define these kinds of market aspects. And what they defined was um, common problem in the infrastructure industry. And they defined three distinct processes. They talked about infrastructure project management as being one phase, infrastructure asset management as being another process, and infrastructure portfolio management as being a third process. And the problem they highlighted was that during the project management phase, the kind of engineering and so on, there's a specific set of tools and systems and information management platforms that are used to manage that effectively. And the kinds of data points that they're talking about there, CAD models, going schedules, and so on. Whereas in asset management, we move into a different phase and a different set of systems and a different set of technologies for supporting that. And again, a different set of data points. In asset management, you're more interested in procedures and practices, materials, warranties, and so on. And then, in portfolio management, the kinds of decisions that uh, many of the owners and operators here today have told us and expressed again, the kinds of decisions you have to make around whether to buy, whether to uh, build a new plant, whether to maintain, whether to decommission, and so on. So the kinds of forecasts and projections, stage of course, histories. And really, so you've got three different processes, three different sets of systems, whereas in fact, there's an awful lot of information that does need to be shared between these systems. And what we are seeing find was a new category of information management tools, and they described that as asset lifecycle information management. And we think that very well describes exactly what Bentley is. Bentley provides tools. You write these three things, these three distinct processes. And we have tools that support both engineering firms and other operators in how they can better support these business processes that they have. Because it's all about information mobility. It's about ensuring that information that's generated during the time phase and captured during the construction phase is available in the operations phase. It's available during maintenance. It's available as you go through the life cycle of complexity of dealing with your plant. It's ensuring that the situation where you know, information is just you know, thrown over at the end of the construction project and chucked over there so I can data for you. Uh, it's ensuring that instead of that, handover becomes hands-on. It's about ensuring that you put systems in place at, uh, in these uh, stages of the projects that are going to survive through the, the life cycle of the project and ensuring that you're capturing the information you need to safely operate your facilities during the design and construction phases. So, to illustrate this, I want to highlight a couple of examples. Uh, I'd like to start again with another hydro power plant example. We work uh, very closely with this company called ECIBI uh, Hydro Training. This is uh, the front page of their website. Uh, very nice uh, hydro power plants that they do. 
And this is a snapshot of uh, a page from our website where we highlight many of the different projects that they've used a whole portfolio of our technology to successfully engineer and manage. Now, what's the kinds of things that uh, Hive and China are doing that are supporting reliability and maintenance? Well, for a start, they're doing things like using the 3D models for maintenance planning. Now, this is like an example here of a, a walkthrough, a fly through, if you like, of one of the hydro power plants that they designed, showing all the equipment the structures, showing the instrumentation. Of course, you can click on any of those items and find out the data behind it. If you have a data rich environment which is uh, in which to be able to, to better support this. And I think in discussions with several of you yesterday, you know, we learned situations where you might be working with engineering contractors, but then you are going to be operating the facility. And you need to be able to do this kind of work to be able to access the right equipment and so on. Now, nothing particularly special in that. I'm sure you would imagine this is the kind of thing I was going to show. So what I'd like to do is to extend that a little bit further and let's think about what, what's the kind of state of the art about how Bentley can support better reliability and maintenance. We talked about you know, information mobility, we talked about better information reliability. For example. Well, one of the things that Bentley can do that's pretty unique is the idea that because we understand the overall infrastructure disciplines, the building, the civil, the plan, and so on, the structures, we have technologies that can combine these different elements and the drawings and the data and the models, we can combine these into single uh, self-describing packages we call iModel. Now, it's not only Bentley technology, it's not only Bentley design tools that we can gather together. We make uh, tools available so that all manner of third parties can also describe their data in iModel format. We can package that up all together in a single self-describing container that doesn't mean the applications that generated the data in order to view them. So you're able to review the information in this iModel format without the design tools.